Greetings everyone, this is Spin Dash, and welcome back to another episode of my Metro 2033 Redux playthrough on the Survival Ranger Hardcore difficulty. I will aim for all notes and gain most moral points to aim for the good ending. In today's episode, we will be caught in the middle of an ongoing war between the Reds and the Reich. This will be a non-lethal playthrough too, so without further delay, let's enter the next stage, Frontline. First things first, we're going to listen to the Red Commander's speech to get the first moral point. And just like that, we got our first world point and front line. First, before we continue on, we're going to grab an item. An important item. That is being the night vision goggles. I know there's one guy that we can knock out. We're going to wait for him to turn around. Come on. There you go. Go ahead, flip this off, just in case, open the locker, get the moral point, and the night vision goggles. And make sure that the light's charged up, because it connects to our night vision goggles too, so. So yeah, front line. We gotta get through this war so we can pull through. Try to be stealthy at least. Alright. First things first, we're gonna go downstairs. Now there's gonna be two soldiers here and they're gonna have a conversation. There's this big heavy boy right over there. We're gonna stay in cover here and listen in. ослабляет пятая колонна. Трусы и предатели. Но зачем умирать так глупо? 
Потому что нас бросают прямо на их укрепление. Почему на мосты? У нас там нет шансов. И ты и я знаем, что под мостом есть тайный ход. Почему нам не прикажут идти через него? Мы бы зашли к фашистам в тыл и... Слушай, Михалыч, давай разведаем, что там за ход, а? Ну подумай только, какая диверсия была бы. Сколько фашистов мы могли бы прикончить ночью во сне. Не так это получили. Разведка без приказа. Это называется дезертирство. Да? Пуля в голову. Вот тебе награда за такое. Будет приказ. Нет, сиди пути. Герой недоделанный. And that'll give us another moral point. They're gonna have to scurry off over here. We don't wait for them to walk all the way and get separated. Now we can knock this guy out, but the other guy, we can't. He is completely decked out in armor. So we'll silently take him out. This guy. Uh, he's getting in the way, and I don't want to take any chances here, so I'm going to have to wait. Just sit and wait, wait for him to move his big fat armored butt away. He's turning around. Once he gets up the ramp, we should be fine. Okay, okay. We good. Now here's a sight. There's the commander from earlier and a soldier. We're gonna knock out the soldier and the commander because they're What we just did there is we served the Red Deserter. Now, if you let those guys execute him, he would have, well, executed him, you would have lost a moral point. And we don't want that. Just make it sure. Another conversation occurred that has a moral point attached to it. Но фашистские ублюдки отрезали им языки. Господи. Когда наши выбежали из укрытия, ну, чтобы встретить их, увидели, что те все обвешаны динамитом. Кто-то успел крикнуть, нашлись! Я упал. Из нашего отряда семерых клочья разорвало. Ну и четверо смертников фашистских. Заключенные это были. Семь? Я слышал, вроде шесть. В оно прошлой ночью. У него все кишки были наружу. Вот оно сказал. Не хотел понимать. Как человек такое сделать может? Just like that, we got a moral point from listening in. We're gonna be splitting off. I'm gonna quickly knock this guy out. And there's two injured red soldiers over there, but do not shoot them. You will you will lose a moral point if you do, and we're trying to go non-lethal here. Now this is where I'm gonna activate my night vision goggles. Now we're gonna disable the power here. And if we open this, we should have some supplies. Oh, we're also gonna need a gas mask for this too. Oh, 
And here's our first safe. We get a moral point, but we need to find the... You can also get a second pair of night vision goggles if you need them, but I haven't got the key yet. I'm going to be careful here because I think some might... Usually if I remember correctly, a soldier shows up here. Okay, the key's right here. I just missed it. So I'm going to go back down there, grab the... and open up the safe. Okay, loot acquired. Let's go back. Alright. So, now there are two ways of approaching this. You can either be stealthy or you can go all guns blazing. Now, I'm going to try and be stealthy here and try and get to the underground. So we're going to go back down. Because up there, there's just no way. So we're going to go to the other side here. Okay, so we're going to stay on these pipes here. Alright, stay low. Oh. Another case of my own stupidity against me. Oh well. That's fine. It happens. This time I'll try to be a little more cautious. Might want to use my night vision. Oh god. There we go. Okay. Uh, sprint across. Okay, made the jump. Take this right. Now, we could go up there, but we're not doing that since there's more... There's Nazis over there. Baddies. So we're going to be stealthy here. Take this T-car. We'll take the ammo for it. And we're going to jump down here. Now, there's a lot of play area to explore down here in the underground alone. So let's take a look what we got. I'm going to my gas mask too, since this is pretty cooked. We can also use our flashlight since none of those enemies are going to be able to see us down here. Let's see. Up oh, in place with no flash. What you'll find here is a bunch of a bunch of Reich soldiers. You have a ton of supplies, gas masks go up in here. We get a, a cache of stuff. Heck yeah, we're gonna need that. Filters, medics, everything. So we're gonna step away from here. Of course, I, I remember seeing a video on this, but if you shoot this, you're gonna get a rat and it'll give you loot. But I'm doing a stealth run. I'm not sure if the enemies will hear the gunshot if I shoot, so I I'm just going to play it safe for now. So we're going to continue on around here. Yeah, this is one hellish landscape. Dang, he just collapsed. Okay. I remember there said to be a more point where uh, around here. Oh, there's a trap. Be careful of that. Deactivate the trap. That had it where a hand was carrying MGR, but I can't seem to find it. I 
let's see. If I don't find it, I just can't find it, so. This is also a good way of getting past all those traps so you don't have to deal with it. I guess I just can't find it. Yeah. But if you do find it, you just get more point for doing it. So. I want this to be an all moral point series, but I guess that isn't the case. I did miss a moral point in, what was it? The uh, dry station one where I didn't use the hookup, but it's alright. We'll get enough to get the good ending, and that's what matters. It's honestly crazy. I was debating if I wanted this to be a walkthrough or a playthrough, but there's already enough playthrough walkthroughs, that is, on YouTube, so. It is what it is. So anyways, we're going to go up this ladder here after stealthily getting through here. Oh. Why did I go slow? Okay. Okay. So right here, we're going to knock this Nazi soldier and free these war prisoners. These are reds, but since we saved their butts, they're not going to pose any threat to us, so... We'll just go on our way. Let them be. Let them rest up once the war is all over. I'm going to turn this off, because we're going to be facing with some entering Reich territory right here. Get my night vision going, what's up? We should be seeing our first Reich sword soldier in a bit. He it's a heavily armored guy, so... Okay, okay, gonna check both ways, sneak in. We just stay crouched here, down here. We just mosey on. They will not notice you if you stay crouched down in this little tunnel here. Now, this is a railroad, so you know what that means. There's going to be a trolley coming in by, a combat trolley, but. We'll have the light source. Alright, there it is right there. And it's on its way right now, so let's get out of here real quick. Let's hop out of the way. Yeah, you do not want that thing to spot you. If it does spot you, you are in for a world of hurt. Okay. Just get back there. It'll come back too, but if you're fast enough, you can actually get away. But there's this guy over here. This guy turn around first. Or I can just sneak by him. He won't see me. So I won't I guess the less this time the the less amount of time I spend here, the better. Because I do not want to deal with that trolley. Blow out that light, get up here. Take a left here, blow the light sources as you come along so you can lower your chances of being spotted. See, here comes the trolley. Like I said, if I stayed there any longer, it would have been after my butt. And I don't want that to happen. There's some stuff in this locker here. There's a bunch of flame bombs, but we're not going to need that. There's some ammo over here. So let's go down this ladder. If I can properly get down. Okay, there we go. That guy didn't notice us, clearly. Now we're going to try and get to the right here, but this guy is easing towards our location. I'll make sure he's turned around so I can stay away from him. Be stealthy. No killing either. Oh, 
Okay, if I go up here, quietly get up here. Okay, no problems. There's a heavily guarded soldier here. Blow out the light source. This guy's gonna be a problem. But you can knock out this heavily guarded guy. And you can knock his buddy out in front of him, too. Alright. We're getting too close to the end already. Let's stay close, because this is going to be one of... Alright. Knock this guy out. We need to be on the lookout for his buddy. Stay in the shadows so we can get to him closely and quickly. Alright. And our first and only note and front line will be right here. So let's go ahead and grab it. The red line was no worse enemy than the fourth Reich. Ah, so we're in the fourth Reich now. History changes. War changes, but seems like, nah, war never changes. It's the Reds and the Nazis. Just like old times. Oh well. But. The thing, the important thing is, we managed to get through the front lines undetected and without any kills and with most of the moral points, which is pretty neat. So I'm gonna go ahead. Wow, these guys have nothing on them. Okay, this guy did. So, and there's some loot over here, medicate if you need it, but let's get on out of here. And we get a moral point for. Getting no kills on that, too, by the way. Uh-oh. Когда я пришел в себя, надежда у меня не осталась. Пленные в фашистских концлагерях использовались как рабы или мишени. And that was front line. It's quite the big, expensive level. There are many ways you can approach this level. Two ways mainly. All combat, or all stealth. Or the non -le well, there's non-lethal stealth, then there's killing stealth. You could get some kills off the T-car, the science T-car, and takedowns if you're stealthy enough, and probably take out everybody undetected. And that's if you're going for the cheat where you have to kill absolutely everybody, including the deserter, the prisoners, and the injured reds. That's if you want to go full action hero over there. But here on Survival Ranger Hardcore Difficulty, we're going to have to opt for the more stealth approach. And since the RTM does not want to be a part of this war, he went with the non-lethal approach. And as a result, we got a lot of moral points out of that. Of course, I couldn't find the, the moral point regarding the, the guy at the hand and below all that rubble, but it's fine. We're getting that good ending regardless. So... Frontline's a pretty big stage, pretty intimidating if you don't know what you're doing, but very manageable if you know exactly what to do, that most encounters can be avoided. That trolley, that trolley that we saw earlier can be a bit of a pain if you somehow, if you just somehow alerted it. But that also goes back to what I was saying. You also need to kill the trolley. You're going to use a pipe bomb for that if you're going for the all kills achievement, but you also, if you're going for stealth, go for the non-lethal approach or lethal approach to your stealth if you really want to kill everybody. But if not, take the non-lethal approach. You just got to avoid most of your counters. Not everybody has to be fought. Just avoid the conflict altogether. And that's what I did mostly for this run. So, it was a pretty... I managed to speed through this pretty quickly. Now, next episode, I'm going to hate recording this one because it's just a pain. And that is trolley combat. I am not looking forward to trolley combat. It is the, by far the worst stage in Metro 2033. But anyways, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.